Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily communion meditation, where today we're talking about repelling versus attracting. So the other day, my daughter got some magnetic rocks, and we're just playing with these rocks, and it's it's kind of amazing to feel the forces in the magnets, either attracting or repelling. And I notice I'm playing with these magnetic rocks, and when you have them turned the way that they're repelling each other, you get the same sides together. Let's say the north side and the, the north pole and the north pole, and they're repelling each other. They they try to constantly redirect and divert away from the target, away from attracting each other. But when they're attracting, you just get them anywhere close and they just snap together. When you got the repelling action going on, you get anywhere close, it just gets further away. It gets redirected in another path. But when you have it attracting, as soon as they get close, it just snaps together. And I was just thinking about this. We've talked a lot over the last couple of years about being magnetic. About becoming uh, attractive. We could talk about uh, moving towards the goals and the plan that God has for our lives. I think sometimes it's like the more we try to push towards those goals, it's almost like we're repelling them. They get pushed away and they just get further and further away. But when we do this the right way, we do this by God's grace. He gives us these beautiful solutions. We seek after him. We take the opposite approach. It's opposites that attract. We take the opposite approach. Jesus says, you seek first the kingdom of heaven and all these things will be added to you. They'll be attracted to you. It's the opposite approach. And so often I've learned with the things that we want the goals that we have, the things that we want to accomplish in life. When we try to push directly at them, we actually repel them away. But when we seek first the kingdom of heaven, those things get attracted to us. It's like we just get in the vicinity, we get close, and they just get pulled toward us. And so something, our, our message for this month in March of 2023 was turn it around and the best will be found. So if you had a goal you've been going after, something you've been believing God for, but it seems like it's just getting repelled. The more you try to push towards it, the more it just seems to just keep being a moving target. It keeps to see, seems to keep moving away from you. Turn it around. You're probably repelling it. Turn it around. Begin to face the other direction. Begin to face after God. Seek after him. And it will get attracted to you. So we're going to take communion over this today. Asking God for help with this. But let's pray first, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear Son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, smitten, bruised, pierced, crushed, and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation. So that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us, and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe, the same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us, let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us so that we do good and are blessing the people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. 
Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, we're asking for your help today. If there's any areas in our life where we've been maybe going after something, but we've actually been, without even knowing it, we've been repelling it away. The more we push after it, the more we're just pushing it away. Help us to turn it around so that it becomes attracted to us in any of those areas. Help us to understand this and to walk in this, Lord. And I thank you that on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We'd all miss it. We'd all turn to our own ways. And you laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes, you've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you, so that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. All through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand. And you raised us up together with him. And we get this opportunity in communion to remember our union with you because of what Jesus did. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light. We get to have this covenant relationship with God. A blood sworn oath in the blood of Jesus. A covenant of love and peace and grace and forgiveness. So, Father, I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have a juice, you can take your juice. So, this concept today is something I've seen in the area of health and fitness. People push and push and push and try to get results. But it's often like those results get repelled away. When we learn how to kind of rest and trust and trust the process, do those things that we know to do, do them beautifully. Take that pressure off of ourselves. It's like the results begin to get attracted to us. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you go to AbundantLifeTrainingCenter.com.